Exactly, Galston. Take a look behind me and you can see the giant posters that students have been coming up by all day to sign for the two victims in this case as this community and investigators try to understand the exact circumstances that led to this crash. Flowers, candles, and two wooden crosses mark the spot where three 15-year-old boys were walking along Highway 49 in Auburn yesterday afternoon. We were just happy having a good time. Nick Augusti says he'd been skateboarding with Jared Gashes and Trevor Keller and had just taken this picture of his two friends. Augusti says as the three of them were walking along the road, a white pickup suddenly swerved in their direction and he was the only one to get out of the way. I didn't even run, I just walked. I, it was so shocking that, you know, I looked at them, they were just looking at the truck. You know, it was like so unbelievable. At the wheel of the truck, CHP says, was 62-year-old Philip Ingram, now charged with felony DUI and vehicular manslaughter. CHP says Ingram was still seated in the truck when an investigator arrived to question him. He noticed that some objective signs of intoxication didn't know if it was related to alcohol or drugs or a combination of both, but that's what they looked into last night. CHB now says Ingram, who lives at this home not far from the scene, had not been drinking, but rather was under the influence of drugs or medication. He's got a disabled thing on his pickup, and I know he has trouble with his back or something and uh, stuff, and he's on disability. So he told you he takes medication for pain? I heard that he, yeah. I've seen that truck before. Neighbors say just before the crash that killed the boys, they saw Ingram's pickup sideswipe a parked car. Surveillance video shows the truck leaving that first accident scene. It seemed like he maybe thought about stopping and like slowing down. Uh, but then he kept going. But it wasn't like he squealed off or anything. It was just kind of weird. Tonight, investigators are waiting for blood test results to determine what, if anything, Philip Ingram had in his system at the time of the crash. He's scheduled to go before a judge tomorrow afternoon. Live in Auburn, David Beaney, KCRA 3 News.